Hey, Miss Lazarus, this is Mr. Alon. So you question about the animations. So they can either insert a picture or go to background um, and change the background. And then they can add um, either a picture by using shapes um, to make like a person. And then they can like put different shapes together to make something. Um, there's a way to group shapes together if you highlight and then both of those shapes together. If you hold um, Control Alt G, as in grape, those will be grouped and then they will move together. Um, so what I did was um, you can like duplicate a slide really quickly, Control D as in dog, so that now one and two are the same. And then if I want this to move a little bit here, I would go back and Control D, go down here and move it a little bit there and then control D down here and move it a little bit like there. So if we were in present mode, um, it would look like it was moving. Um, right, so I'm just hitting the arrow keys as it goes by. And then there's this other dude there that we put in before. A really cool thing to use, this thing's in a way, is this little explore button in the lower hand right hand corner you can go and you can search for clip, oops, sometimes it does that, clip art, people, or whatever you're looking for, and hit images. And then when you drag it in there, it sometimes does not have edges on the picture, right? And so just like that, you can move it around um, as you duplicate the slide. Now, let's say they made the whole animation. If you go to file, uh, publish to the web and you just get the link and the default is every three seconds. That's fine. If you want to start it, you can do that when it loads and restart, hit publish, and then you have a link. So you take the link, control C, and you put it in another control V, another thingy. Now, the smaller this number, see it says 3000, the smaller that number is, the faster it'll go. So you put it at 100, press enter, it's going to run through that animation um, faster and faster. And if you do a screencast of that, you can put your voice over it and do uh, that. So that's basically what we've been doing. You don't need to have it published to the web. You can just, like I said before, hit present mode and then use the arrow keys, which some people have done really cool things with not that much animation, but like voice bubbles. And then they go to call outs and they're like, I said, that is the great Sphinx. Um, and then with speaker notes too, we can use voice. If you go to tools, voice uh, typing. So you go in here for students that have difficulty with spelling, you click here and you hit allow. You say, this is the great Sphinx. Wait, this is the great Sphinx. And then you can, you know, just a good way for them to copy, paste, and then you could have like him talking to someone else or he's talking to whatever about that. And that's how they do that. So it's kind of cool.